Well, don't let the name fool you. There's not many small dishes coming from the small batch of Harbor Springs Bakery and Cafe. Even though the restaurant hasn't been open for very long, it's already making a name for itself. And while many enjoy their sweet treats, it's the over-the-top mac and cheese that can't be beat. 9 and 10's Jenny Bouchelle takes you there in this week's Inside the Kitchen. Uh, my alarm goes off anywhere between 3.30 and 4, depending on how many times I hit that snooze button. I hop out of bed, turn the ovens on, go in, uh, and just start baking. Such is the life of Loretta Reese, owner of Small Batch in Harbor Springs. The bakery cafe opened last September when the self-trained kitchen curator took a sweet leap of faith. So I was a footwear designer, head of design for a large footwear company based in Los Angeles. I'd get home from a trip. You know, I'd be gone six, seven weeks, and it was therapy for me. All I wanted to do was get into the kitchen and cook. I left the footwear industry and decided to do something. It was another creative outlet, and this was. Every day, Loretta creates dozens of handcrafted treats, but for comfort food that really hits the spot, it's all about the motherload mac and cheese. It starts with a thick, gooey base of heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, goat cheese, and caramelized onions. But that's not all. I mean, this is called the mother load. We have tomato, we have pea pods, uh, roasted chicken, our four kinds of cheeses that are top secret, and <laughs> <laughs> fresh basil. Oh, yeah. And then on top of that, we're, we're going to put some breadcrumbs as well. It all gets piled onto a bed of cava toppy pasta that traps all the fillings in its curly Q shape. What's better on carbs than carbs? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You're Bread crumbs cover the cheesy mound, yes. and then she's sent to the oven. All right, check this out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have not had mac and cheese until you have the mother load. Nope. And the customers agree. <laughs> Loretta's got this little talent of surprising me every time I walk in. It's like a little bit of a party. My own private party. Party in my mouth. And that party does not start until the raspberry squares. The first layer of our raspberry bars, which is a shortbread crust. Okay. So it's really just butter and flour. Two of our favorite ingredients. Absolutely. A third would be sugar. The shortbread dough is rolled smooth, then baked and cooled for around two, and that's homemade raspberry preserves. The final layer is a crumbly streusel topping of butter, flour, and brown sugar piled onto the pan and sent to the oven. It is goes in, comes out, comes ready out, for eating. goes in, comes out looking like. Hello. That is the magic. Right? right? Finally, they're sliced into share size squares. Or don't share. You make the call. Ooh, the preserve is a little gooey mm -hmm. in there too. Mm. And these are. And still, yeah. there's the poached pear dumplings, yes. the quiche, and the endless cakes. But whatever treasure you take to go or gobble down right there in store. I want them to enjoy the whole experience. I want them to understand that there's more than just running to a bakery and grabbing a cookie or a brownie, but to experience all of it. I mean, it's, it's about, I don't want to say it's about the brand, but kind of is. It's what Small Batch is about. It's not just about the food. It's about the experience. Reporting Inside the Kitchen, Jenny Bouchelle, 9 and 10 News.